Hi. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a uh, kind of a roundabout way for how to get a video of a uh, time lapse of star trails uh, happening so you can see the star trails created. Now, kind of an overview, uh, it's going to be, it's, it's completely free software, but we're going to use something called Star Stacks, and I'll put all the links below, which gives you a live feed of your images being stacked um, with the foreground being left alone and only the stars being uh, blended together and OBS. And so a, a quick overview is that OBS is just simply going to record the live feed that Star Stacks gives you. And then I'm, now I'm gonna actually show you how to do that. And so the first thing we're, you're gonna need is the program Star Stacks. Um, like I mentioned, it's free both Mac and Windows. And so we're gonna go ahead and download that. I've already downloaded it. And OBS, another free program, also for both Mac and Windows uh, and Linux too. I don't know about StarStack, if StarStack is available for Linux. But either way, um, doesn't, doesn't seem like it. Either way, once you have those downloaded, the first thing you're gonna do is open up StarStack. I already have it open. And you're gonna make it um, maximized as, as big as you can have it. And we're gonna get our photos in here. So I have my folder opened up with all of the time-lapse photos that I, uh, that I took. I'm gonna control A and select all of them. I'm gonna drop them into Star Stacks. Now Star Stacks does have settings where you can do, um, you, you could tweak the final image that it will produce. I'm not gonna mess with those right now. Our next step is to open up OBS. Um, this is the studio view. Uh, I usually don't have this view, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit studio mode by turning that off. And what we're going to need to do is configure our scene. And uh, in OBS, a scene is basically just what it is that you're going to be recording. So under sources, we are going to uh, add a window capture, and then you can rename it if you want. Uh, we will choose star stacks. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually I'm going to uncheck capture cursor because I don't want just in case I accidentally move my mouse in front of the window. I don't want that shown. So I'm going to hit OK. Uh, we don't need any desktop audio. I'm listening to music, so that's why it's showing. Oh, and then I'm also, excuse the bum fluff, it's, you know, quarantine period. Only time I'm going to be able to grow anything out with no, you know, social repercussions. And so we have our OBS view here. We're going to go ahead and crop it. So I'm going to right click, um, oh, I should click this, right click, transform, edit transform, and we're going to use the cropping tools down here. Uh, now in order to figure out what uh, numbers to use, I, I literally just you know would go in and say, okay, that's not enough, 200, maybe what is 300 enough? Um, but I already have the numbers that I need, so I'm just going to go ahead and put those in. 364 for the top, for the left, 80 for the top, 160 for the right, and 51 for the bottom. Close. Uh, it looks like my uh, right was a little off, so I'm just going to go in here, edit transform, 165, and 166, 167. Okay, 167 is good. And then I'm going to make this bigger so it fits the scene. I'm gonna center it a little bit. And that looks pretty good. And so from here, we can go ahead and start recording. We're gonna go back to Star Stacks, and then we're gonna hit the stack button up here in the top left. I'm gonna go ahead and let this um, run. I, I've done this before, so I know with the about 500 images I have, I believe, it'll be about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna, I'll be back in about 15 minutes. All right, and so now the uh, Star Stacks has finished its stacking and blending of the images, so we can go back into OBS and stop the recording. Um, and then from here, if this is your first time doing the star stacks, you might want to go into the settings because like if you can see, um, there are some spaces and you can see the individual dots of the stars and there are ways to get um, star stacks to, to fix those. So like there's a gap filling one, but I'm not gonna go over those modes here. Uh, you're also welcome to save the image with the save button up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize. And now we can go ahead and go back to OBS. We're, um, 
Now it's the step to look at the video we made. If you're not sure where that video was saved, you can go into settings and then output and it will show uh, the recording path where that video was recorded to. I'm gonna hit OK, minimize this, and I'm gonna open up that video. So documents, uh, OBS, and we have that video here, I think. Is that it? Yes. And you can see that it is the video. It is about, how long is it? Um, oh, it's only four minutes long. Okay, perfect. So it didn't take the 15 minutes that I thought it would. And so from here, you have a four minute video of your star, uh, of your star trail time lapse. But who wants to watch a four minute video of star stacking? So now it's time to go into your favorite video editor and to speed up this video by, you know, a thousand, five thousand percent uh, to get it down to, you know, maybe a five second video or a 10 second video. So you can see here, I have my five second video. I'll get and restart that for you. And that's with, I put this in DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editor program. Uh, although it's, it's, it's a very powerful program. It might be a little overkill for this one. If you're on Mac, you can use like iMovie. That would be very quick. I'm not sure what, uh, you know, light video editor you can use on Windows. If one of you know, go ahead and put that down in the, in the comments. But DaVinci Resolve would be a good, great way to do that. Um, but with that being said, that's how you can go do like a roundabout way that would be a free solution for creating a Star Trails video. Uh, so I hope this helped and clear skies.